Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. So it's been about just about a week since my last video. My family's been off ill with uh, tummy bug, including myself. So today's the first day back filming. So today we're going to be making a planner. So I am a little bit late on this one as well, but I don't mind jumping in wherever I am in the year. So I downloaded this planner from a shop from Etsy. So it's called Organise with Katie. And I'll make sure that there are links for everything that I've used today. So this is a lovely rainbow planner and it's a weekly layout. Bring that up here. And my printer decided to annoy me this one time when it was printing back the other way and it skipped a page. So some of my dates were a bit out of sync. So basically what I did instead of reprinting everything out again um, I used this Tipex runner here and I'll lift this up let's see if I can find a better page um, I'll lift this up here and I just rewrote the proper date so it was just the right hand side that messed up on the printing so I fixed that nice and easy so the papers I used for this are these ones so it's Professional Paper 180 by HP. All the links will be down below. So this is like a brochure sort of paper, so I can use anything. It's for inkjet as well, so I can use any sorts of pens. Um, it has a slightly glossy surface as well, but obviously any pen I, you, you, I do use will be okay. So let's go get on with um, what we're going to be using today so this this was from my planner from last year so I'm going to make a larger version so this is the five by seven and I've used some Tim Holtz distress inks which are these ones here and I've used this stamp set by Altenew it's called happy dreams and I absolutely love it undecided yet on what embossing powders I'm gonna go for I don't know whether to stay with the gold or try the silver so I think I may just go with the gold and for the binding options I've used the bind it all for um, my binding which are the wires and it's by a machine called Zutter so I'll be getting that out in a, um, when we get round to it and I'll also be discussing other um, binding options as well so let's move everything aside and I'm going to start off with the covers right, so the watercolour paper we're going to be using today is by Crafters Companion and it comes in the size A4 you get 15 sheets in that pack so I'm going to be doing the whole page and then I'll be cutting it straight in half to make an A5 size. So the Distress inks we're going to be using are Peeled Paint, Wilted Violet, Faded Jeans, Peacock Feathers and Fossilised Amber. So I'm also going to put a messy mat down as well and I'm going to be using a spray bottle as well and some kitchen towel so what I'll be doing is I'll be adding my inks with an ink blender one of the round ones there we go I've got loads of spare sponges and I'll be adding it on and then I'll be spraying and I'll be moving it around and then I'll be drying it with my heat tool and then I'll be repeating and layering up the, um, the colours so I'll be putting that bit on fast forward so here we go
okay so we've done the front and I've done a little bit on the back as well it's just just simpler so I did more processes on the front so we're going to finish this off by adding a few splashes so roll your sleeves up I'm just going to spray it directly onto my hand till it, I get a nice puddle and then I'm going to splash it on just like so grab some kitchen towel and then I'm going to lift it up That should distress it a little bit more. Just going to add a few more. It's a very sunny day today. So I'm liking how that is looking. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside to dry while I set up my stamps. I'm going to be using the Tim Holtz platform, the stamp positioner thingy. Because it's quite rough paper and it may move around, so let's clean this off as well. Please. Okay, so here's the stamp positioner and I've got it on clear. Oh, actually, before we do that, we need to chop it in half, don't we? Okay, so I'm going to use my Fiskars trimmer here because it's got all the measurements here that I need. It makes it very nice and quick to do. So, <clears throat> I planted out my printer... Print, I plant... I printed out my planner... A A5 size. And I believe in her shop she does have the larger versions as well, so you can go for any size that you need. Let's pop these aside, I'm loving those already. Right, back to the platform. Let's get our stamps mounted up. These are slightly wet still so I'm just going to go off camera and I'm going to get these dry I'm going to use gold today so this is Nouveau embossing powder And it's new, so this is going to be the first time I'm going to be using it. So let's see together how well it does. So far, so good. I'm just going to preheat this, it's quite hot already. Just heating up the paper as well because that should speed it up. the bottom bit again everything is in the same position so we should be good if I mess this up I may just cover it up with something before I put it through the laminator so we'll just see what happens so I can take this off we don't need that anymore versa mark sorry anti-static tool then the versa mark I do actually need to re-ink my Versamark. Oop, that 
did go off so I'm going to fix this off camera and I'll let you know what I've done So now we're going to do some more stamping, so keep your block handy. Going to be using these dots here, they're like snow, snow dot thingies, or you could go for the stars as well. I'm going to go for the dots. Where's my thingy? Here it is, and I'm just going to add some of this. my front cover here it is kind of want to do something very similar to this Okay, so I'm not going to actually put the date on the front because I only use one planner at a time and um, because I'll be making it myself and doing my own binding, I will have the options just like I have with this one. Um, I can take it off and use it for something else, like make a notebook out of it. So, I, because I really just love this, I want to use it again and again. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is find my other piece. Here it is. I'm going to do the back cover. And I'm going to use Be A Dreamer on the back and then on the inside I'm going to take one of these feathers or one of these squiggly, um, not squiggly but one of the leaves there and I'm going to decorate the inside with the gold embossing powder as well so I'll be right back. Okay so I'm pretty much done with the covers now so I've done them front and back. I've added They Know The Way so follow your dreams they know the way along the bottom. This is the other side, which I absolutely really like. I'm really tempted to have that as my front cover, so I am definitely going to make something else like the inside cover, possibly for a notebook or something. So this is the back, Be A Dreamer. It's very bright in here, so I'm gonna see if I can change the contrast when I'm editing the video, just to see if you can get a better idea of the colors. They're so vibrant in real life. So the sun is shining straight into the room today. So now what we're going to do is we're going to laminate these. Um, before we laminate them, um, if you have, or are planning to use the We Are Memory Keepers planner punch board, um, it, this doesn't actually go through laminated sheets of cardstock. So um, I would find a different binding system for you for that one. Um, I'm going to be using The Zutter Bind It All. Now this is the older version and there's a new version out now, it's pink. I'm not too sure how many new functions it has, if it's any difference, if there is any difference. So if you do know if there's a difference between this one and the pink one, let me know. And um, There is also the um, cinch as well, which is much longer and it does the round holes for the binding. So I'm going to be using this with the uh, one inch black wires. So I'll be showing you exactly how to do that. So first off, we need to laminate. So I'm going to be using these A5 laminating pouches. If you just have A4, you can just stick these two into an A4 and then cut it down the center. I just want to make my life as easy as, make it easy as possible. So I'm just grab two out of there. A whole lot wants to come out. So 
chocolate. I bought these little A5 ones just so that um, when I have smaller items to laminate, I don't have to waste a whole sheet or go around trying to find something else to stick in there to laminate. So I've got my laminator warming up as we speak. So I'm going to push those in. Make sure there's no hairs or cat hairs or dog hairs. I do have a cat, so one of his hairs sometimes goes inside my pouch. Okay, my laminator has just flicked on its ready light, so I'm going to put these in straight away because I have heat embossed here. So I have discovered that with laminating and heat embossing, you've got to put it through as soon as it's ready and not let the laminator get too hot. So let's bring that over. Here's my laminator. It's just a cheap one off Amazon. And I have it on the hot setting, so I'm just going to feed that through. Okay, so we have two here now. Those are done. We're going to trim the edges off. Turn that off because we're going to put it through again, but I don't want it getting too hot. So I'm going to grab my paper, oops, grab my paper trimmer, and I am going to trim off as close as I can to the edge of the paper. There's a very small section there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it through the laminator again. Now I know some people don't actually like to trim it all the way up to the edge, but I'm with these laminating pouches and my laminator, I don't tend to have a problem with them um, unpeeling around the edges. So, uh, I mean, I'm not going to be planning on putting my laminate, uh, my planner in any sort of bag. And if I do, it would be once or twice. So it's not going to be traveling with me every day. It's just for my desk. It barely cooled down, so the ready light is on straight away. Right, let's feed this through one more time. Okay, so they've both been through now, so I'm loving it already. Right, so let's get on with the um, binding. Let's move those aside. Right, so this is my Zatter. I've had this probably since 2006. here. So I am really interested to see how different the version 2 is. So this pulls out just like that. So um, if you want to have a, a more full tutorial on how to use this, I can do that. Just let me don't know, let me know down in the comments below. So it cuts six holes and on the side here we have um, a few settings here so you can have open continuous cover and inner pages personally I just have it set to open fully sorry no I have it set to B so that this thing here it stops it and then I like to cut my holes so that I have a set at the bottom and a set at the top so let's grab an A5 piece of paper and let's see how it goes when we punch it in. So this should go through 
thick cardstock as in like the grey board or mount board and it should go through several pieces of paper at the same time so it's very heavy duty which makes it one of my favourites so I didn't get that in there perfectly straight because this is just our test so I'm happy with the location of those I'm not going to be fussy and try and get it all across at the same time sometimes life's too short for working out stuff like that so make sure that you have your binding on the right side more the left hand side but you know, you know what I mean right so let's pop that in use the lever so now we have our holes there then we're going to turn it over and do the other side okay so that's done looking good right now for the back cover time to not get confused because sometimes automatically you just go to the left hand side but it's actually the right hand side so if we put our book together so just to double check put your book together open it up so we know it's going to be this side here I've made plenty of mistakes by putting my holes in the wrong side of the back cover that in yep that's good right so now moving on to our pages okay so I've got my pages here so I'm gonna set them off to the side and I'm going to work from the backwards forwards you can do whatever order you want just try not to mix up your pages or um, put the holes in the wrong side because that would really annoy you right so I'm going to be putting my holes on the left hand side as you can see the person that designed this uh, Katie she um, she made sure that there was a larger space here to this space there so it, it kind of makes it easier for you to tell where to put your holes so I've grabbed this much that's too much to fit in so let's take a few out trying to keep your album planner in the right order because it's in date order now so you really don't want to be mixing up any pages okay there's probably f a few too many pages in that one so I won't pick up so many next time Okay, so that's our first lot done. We're going to set that aside there, face upwards. So from my pile here that's face downwards, I'm going to grab some more. Okay, so just carry on doing the rest and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we're done that now. I did actually make a little error here where I punched in the wrong place, but it's on the right side um, and it's mostly going to be hidden. So and it's in the December section. So hopefully I'm just going to be too happy about Christmas to even worry about how it looks. Right, so now on to our binding. So our wires are one inch so let's take this off and then here this is the section where we pop the um the wires in to close them so it has this section here where you can move this out and the one inch is right back here so i'm going to turn this right back till we get to the one inch Go. I'm going to pop this back in. It, it says do not remove. I've never had any accidents with that. So, right, so let's pop that aside. Oh, and if you're wondering where all those little bits go that you've been chopping, they go in here. So you can tip that out into a bin. Right, let's start with our sandwich. So we start with our planner pages first. Then we have our front cover. Then we have our back cover turned the other way. So let's grab our O wires. 
So I need one, two, three, four, five, six on each one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I need to find some wire cutters and pop that because I've moved everything around. I don't know where anything is, so I'll be right back. Okay, so my little pliers have gone walkies. So I've got my Tim Holtz. So I've cut one, it cuts through it fine. So count another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me cut here. So now from the underside, let's get all of our lines, all our holes lined up. And then we're going to pop them through. It's quite a thick pad we're doing here, so we may, you know what, I was I was putting the wrong end in. Yeah, that never would have gone through. There we go. How easy was that? There we are. There we go. Right, so now we have our wires in like that. So we should have... everything facing the right way. We're going to pop that first section. So we're going to add this so that it's kind of like standing so imagine those are two legs so standing up we're going to pop that in there and then we're going to push down trying to hold this down as well so it doesn't pop upwards and then we're going to squeeze it together until it's closed so there's still a bit more squeezing to go there let's keep going Okay, so now we do the other one. It does want to push it upwards. It's a lot easier with the smaller wires, so I think we could probably push that one together a little more. And there we go. Move that aside. Now all we have to do is take the back cover and flip it round to the back and there we have our planner diary. So you can make notebooks, anything like that. So let's have a quick flick through. So this planner has three sections. I plan to use one for um, my YouTube videos. So I'll probably along the bottom here write which the name of the YouTube video that I'm doing so this would be my YouTube work section and then I have a house section so I don't forget to do things around the house obviously when you get crafting you can get carried away so I like to write down what I need to do in the house for each day and then I won't kind of forget to do it and at the bottom here I'll probably use that for school stuff so my, my kids go to school so there are going to be things here where if they have clubs and things then I might not be able to get as much filming done so I like to plan on a Sunday my week ahead so this is going to be absolutely perfect for me and I'm so glad I, I managed to fix this top section so the reason why we have the section at the back let's quickly show you here is in the reason why we did it in this particular order is so that these bits here, these awkward, unsightly bits here, stay at the back. And it locks in place on the back cover. Okay, so all the things that I've used today, they'll be down below. There'll also be a blog page for this project. The link for that will be down below as well. If you like this planner, give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more of the Bind It All in action, then let me know and then I'll make sure that I get some more tutorials using that. And obviously if you do have the Zutter uh, number two, the pink one, let me know how you like it and if really if I should just go out and buy one for myself. So thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time.